Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content and today we are going to be looking at the announcement trailer for something that I have waited to be announced for quite some time. And that is Total War Warhammer 3. I played an obscene amount of Total War Warhammer 2 and there's so much content in that game because Everything from Total War Warhammer 1 and all of its extended content, its DLC, its faction releases, its free updates, all transferred over to still be playable in Total War Warhammer 2. And then Total War Warhammer 2 got a ton of DLC and extended content and free factions and free updates and map expansions and stuff. And there's just so much here. And I was a big fan of Total War Medieval 2 way back when, and then none of them really captured my attention until the Total War Warhammer games, because they don't function the same as a Total War game, because Warhammer has so many different things under the sun, there's so many different races, and there's magic, and so many different weapons, and creatures, and beasts, and there's, there's so much more in it that Total War Warhammer just felt like so much more than any other Total War game that I had ever played by a very significant margin. And I kind of played Total War Warhammer 2 to the point that I was just like done with it. I don't know how much time is on my Steam played, but I know it's a considerable amount. And there was just these little things here and there that I'm like, man, either I hope these get changed or I hope we get Total War Warhammer 3. And I hope it expands these factions and this faction and that faction. I hope it makes these small tweaks. And the game does what Warhammer 2 did to Warhammer 1, which is just make everything better. And it was teased. And finally, it's here. So without further ado, let's check out the announcement trailer for Total War Warhammer 3. Earth is like the winter chill. No door can keep it from us. And so I wonder if we will actually see gameplay if it'll just be cinematics. My child. There is so much to tell you. And I have run out of time. The sacrifice I made was not enough. The Sega! Still feed on our transgressions. Yeah. Ah. Corruption. Obsession. Deceit. Rage. You must face these demons. Fucking Ice Queen. This is one of the factions that I hoped we would be getting. Okay, so we got some chaos. Oh! I'm I'm ready. I want to play it. I want to play it with Tony. It's a nice trailer, but absolutely no gameplay. Yeah, I I didn't fully expect there to be because 
Oh, to this year. I like that. I like that. That's a that's a good time. I didn't expect there to be gameplay because if you've ever played a Total War game, they all play largely the same. The Total War Warhammer games are more interesting because they have a little bit more depth and because of things like spells and the different races and factions and the buffs that they get. It's going to be a turn-based strategy on a board. I, 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 no, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> but this does look really, really... Okay, the cinematic was really pretty, and because I enjoyed the shit out of Total War Warhammer 2, unless they drastically change a lot, which I doubt they will do, because my hope is that they'll do what they did with Warhammer 1 and 2, and all of that content's going to carry forward into Warhammer 3. And in which case, it'll be the same, but more, and they'll take my money all the same. I'm ready. Yeah, that was cool. So the, the faction that is there, I can't remember their actual name. Um, they're a they're the humans that live up in the frozen north. They got a huge Russian aesthetic to them. And in currently you can play as them, but they're just a recolored form of a different faction in the game. Kislev. Thank you, Zach. That's there. That's the name of the faction. And that was one of the factions that we wanted to see added and expanded upon was actually giving them their own identity. There's a couple other factions. It looks like demons are actually getting their own faction as well. Because currently, there are some demons in the game in Warhammer 2, but you can only access a few of them when you play as Chaos, which Chaos is not the same as demons. They're... they're on the same side, but different, like, sub-factions within the same super evil. So, if we're getting Damons and Kislev, sweet. As well as, hopefully, some other, like, quality of life, functional upgrades that is more appropriate for the entire, ex like, an entire sequel rather than just an extra faction release. Because they've released factions separately as, like, DLC and stuff. Games Workshop expanded both Kislev and Grand Theft Auto for Total War Warhammer 3 specifically for the game. Good. Now also to add in add in some some pretty fluffy stuff and maybe you know add some some more graphics options and some some ways to make the game maybe move just a little bit faster because the game runs like it, it, you don't get you play a lot of game to not make a very much happen and that sucks. Oh, I would also like it. If they could add more than just two players. Because on the Grand Campaign strategy map, you can only have two players on it. You can have four or even eight people in the real-time battle maps. So when you're actually controlling the army units and stuff like that on a map. And you got your platoons and they all move around and stuff like that. I think you can have 2v2 on those. But you can only have two players in the actual campaign, regardless of whether you're co-op or PvP. Um, so I, w I would like to see more than two people, because, like, me and Tony played together a lot, and then, like, I, I don't remember if we got you into it, Zach, or what, and then we were like, there's literally no way for us to play with Zach, and that sucks. Because... The game literally had no possible way to play with more than two people at a time. And that was unfortunate because we wanted to have these big grand strategy, like everyone's playing together things, and it just uh, it wouldn't let you. You were playing it before us? Uh, fine. Whatever. Time. What is time anymore? I'm glad to see this coming, though. It was something that, like, as soon as we had exhausted most of the available content in Total War Warhammer 2, I'm like, ah, I'm ready for the third one. And so we got the third one. It's coming sometime this year. No Grand Melee? Oh. Oh. I hope so, though. I don't think I have enough tissues for this. Welcome to Kislev, gentlemen. Yeah, that's cool. I am... I'm glad. I'm glad. Because there was a, a talk for a while that we might not see this for quite some time. Especially because they had released other Total War games since Warhammer 2, and we're like, so, are you ever coming back? Because this game still has shitloads of people playing it all the time. So, that's good. That's good. Um, I'm ready. I I'm curious now, how much, how much did I actually play of it? Total War, Warhammer 2, 155 hours. Not as much as a not as much as a lot, but that's still a very considerate amount. God damn, that's more than I thought I played.
but it's one of those games kind of like Civilization where it's like one more turn, one more turn, one more turn, one more, one more round, and then you're like, fuck, it's fucking 3 a.m. Shit, I'm going to be tired as hell. Polar Bear units are not even in the tabletop version. They're completely new to the entire lore and faction. Good. I mean, it's probably easier to add polar bears into the video game than it is onto the tabletop version where you got to, like, make models and stuff like that. That's nothing for a 4, 4X RTX game, in your opinion? Oh, oh, I know. I know it's not. But I have a full-time job and stream three days a week and make YouTube videos and spend time with family and play games with friends. So, 155 hours is pretty good for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, because there's other stuff that I want to play and other uh, other social games that I play and stuff like that. What you stream? Where can we find you? Oh, dude, there's a description link down there below. Stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We do these reactions live on stream, and that's why we're having this conversation right now, and you can be part of it, person who's watching this on YouTube. You can totally be part of it. And sleep occasionally, Keldross. I fucking hate sleeping. I, I do make sure I get enough sleep, but I hate sleeping. But so as as Eve helped me segue, yes, we do stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We do reactions on Tuesdays and Thursdays after the regularly scheduled content. We'd love to have you there. These reactions are in part provided by the community, and they are submitted in our Discord, where there is a channel dedicated to them, and you're more than welcome to check that out as well. There's links to everything that I'm talking about down in the description below. There's also other reaction videos, as well as a series called First Impression here on the YouTube channel. It's where we play through the beginning of a video game and then review it from the perspective of only what it shows us at its opening moments. So, if you do go check out one of those other YouTube videos, or if I see you in the live stream, thank you, and enjoy. Thank you. 